Girl, you need some help. Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Alondra and I am on a weight loss journey. If you haven't yet, click that subscribe or like button. Please make sure to do so down below and let me know what you guys think in the comments below. For those of you guys that have been staying updated with me, I know I haven't been active for the past two weeks. Honestly, I just was sick and I needed some time to just reground myself. But I am back today with another video. Before we start, you guys, I wanted to thank you so, 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 so much for 1,500 subscribers. You guys have blown my mind with all the support. I hope that I can continue making videos that you guys would like to watch. I 1,000% love hearing your feedback and your comments. So please, please, please feel free to drop your comments down below or DM me on Instagram. You guys know I'm super active on my allo.sle account. If anybody wants to follow, you guys are always free to DM me, ask me questions, give me tips or even share your experiences with me. I always have an open ear. So in this video, I'm gonna be giving you guys a pretty much six month update video on my weight loss journey working out with Joe because it has been six months since I found Joe and started my weight loss officially. If you're new here and haven't checked out my past videos, I share more in depth of my weight loss journey, but I'm gonna be sharing some pictures here as well if you're new and haven't heard my story, I'm going to give a quick little rundown. So when I was younger, I wouldn't say I was the biggest, but I definitely learned to be insecure at a very, very young age. My sisters and mom vividly remember me being insecure of little things like my knees and wearing shorts and skirts to school because I thought my knees looked weird and like they were dirty. And I don't know, I just always was so insecure about certain parts of myself. I remember growing up, I always would look at my sisters and ask if you could see my love handles and stuff, which is a totally normal part of your body. And I think I never really got to enjoy my body where I was, and I never got to be happy with myself and just live without having to think about my body as much because I was always constantly thinking about the way I looked, um, to other people especially. And I think since I was just so hyper-focused on that is one of the reasons that caused me to gain weight. When I got with my boyfriend in 2016, obviously couples like to eat, we gained that happy weight, but the thing is that it didn't stop there. It didn't, it wasn't just so happy weight and then we were like, oh damn, like haha, we can lose this. Like we gained a couple pounds, this and that. It turned into like a bad habit where we, we were like eating fast food almost every night. And it's honestly not an easy habit to break, but um, that's definitely something that I know I had to change to be able to get here. But point is, 2019, I hit my biggest weight. I didn't feel comfortable in myself. I didn't feel like it was me. I felt like a stranger to myself in the mirror. And eventually I did turn that mentality into um, a more positive way of seeing myself and loving my body for where the stage I was at. Um, but it was hard to get there, you know? So. Uh, like I said, in June of 2021, I found Joe. I'm pretty sure it is 2021. I think it was May. June? I'm pretty sure it was May, but I found Joe's videos in May and I was doing them consistently for four months, I remember. And then I had like a two week break because we went on a family road trip and then I got back onto it, but we switched it up a little bit to where I started doing weights three times a week and Joe's videos two times a week and then recently I started doing Joe's videos a lot more again but there hasn't been any weeks besides those two weeks that I took a break that I haven't done a couple of Joe's videos so I'm not gonna lie to you guys and say that I've been doing her videos every single day for the past six months um, but I can tell you that I have been doing them minimum two times a week for the past six months but it's always two, three, four, or five workouts a week of Joe's that I was getting in during this, these past six months. By the way, excuse my voice, I know I sound a little sick. For some reason I got sick. I went to a rave this past weekend and it was two nights and it was freezing at the end of the night, both nights. So I'm pretty sure that's the effect that my body's feeling now, but we're just gonna push through. I just had a sneeze attack. Before the review, um, just so you guys know, I haven't lost a ton of weight since the first 45 pound. I 
actually it's been a minute since I weighed myself but the last time I checked I was 196 and I don't think it's changed much but I think it has a lot to do with the fact that we've been weight training and I we've been like replacing the fat with muscle and so there's not much a difference in the scale but I don't mind it because I'm seeing a lot of differences in my body so pictures are what matters so I'm gonna show you guys this is the before when I first started in 2019 and I was this is like my biggest point 2019 I knew I wanted to lose weight was trying to figure out how this is when I first started actually working out doing Joe's videos this is when I first saw um, some actual significant weight loss in my body um, and this was the trip that I told you guys that I took two weeks off for uh, I felt so good I felt so happy I felt like I had some weight lifted off of me and I could walk around and do all these things and activities with my family and not be tired and not felt slowed down and not feel insecure. It felt, it was awesome. So that was like a huge goal for me. After that, um, when we came back is when we started working out with weights. And like I said, there hasn't been a huge like weight drop difference. This is the before and after of two months of weightlifting and doing cardio with joe as you can see this top and skirt are still outfits that i want to wear in the future and are still a goal outfit for me but there are some very slight differences in the pictures that you can see for example my my waist area there is um a bit of a little pudge sticking out but in the second picture it's more flat and i'm not wearing no kind of shapewear or anything underneath this in both pictures um yes i still have my fupa area but she's looking cute she's doing her the thing and i'm just dressing her up and the way that she should look and i'm just like i said i'm learning to love my body so so much more than i used to because i just want to enjoy life without thinking or worrying about what I look like to other people when that was like all I would do growing up like I told you guys I, I pretty much lost my entire childhood just living in my head you get me so now I'm just out here living my life and not worrying about what I look like too much of course of course I still have days where I'm insecure and I turn to my boyfriend and I'm like oh my god does this look bad and he reassures me like babe you look good like do not worry the only reason though I cannot trust him I feel like I can't trust him is because I he's loved me through every stage of me and of course he's gonna always tell me I'm beautiful that's his job like so I kind of am always in my head about it but but I've learned to just, you know, hold off and, and just let myself be perceived. I have friends that know I used to be like deathly scared of going to stores and running into people I knew just because, and really it was just, it was because I was scared of being seen. I was, I was just ashamed of what I looked like. I was ashamed of um, what people would think. But as I've been practicing my self-love and my my health journey more and more, I've come to realize that people's opinions literally have nothing to do with me. And I know you guys have heard that one before, but it's but think about it. It's true. It's like your opinions that you have on somebody else will never really affect them unless you're like doing brujeria or like sending negative vibes that way, doing an ojo malo. That's girl you need some help but at the end of the day if you are not worried about what other people are thinking about you and you're only worried about what you're doing um every day you're striving to be a better you than you were yesterday and like they always say like you are your biggest competition once you see life like that it goes uphill i find myself not even taking too many pictures of myself anymore because i used to like face check i don't know how to explain it but i used to be super insecure of like my face area and so i would be like at different angles looking at how i looked from different angles when i would pull up my phone and take pictures just to like erase them and see what i looked like to other people and i know that sounds crazy i hope some of you guys can relate but that was just some something that i've noticed i don't really do anymore which i'm super proud of because now like when i pull out to take selfies it's because i want to take a selfie like i'm 
intentionally like taking a picture or i'm with friends and i want to pull out my phone for a picture i'm not just pulling it out to check i'm not saying i never ever ever do it anymore because i mean everyone knows that we check ourselves make sure we're looking good once in a while but i was doing it a little too obsessive girl like <laughs> let me not get into that my point is it's lessened and i am proud of that i've had to throw a few pieces in my closet out um gave a few away i still have a few pieces left in my closet that i need to get rid of that are no longer fitting me and there's a lot of things that i'm realizing now that i need to work on um something that i've been super struggling with is my diet and although yes i've managed to lose weight by calorie counting and eating in my calorie deficit i feel like my diet itself hasn't been like the healthiest healthiest and i don't want to be having like salads for every meal that's not what i mean by like i want to have my diet on check i mean like i want to have more home cooked meals my boyfriend and i both working right now but i don't have a card things are just like harder so if i'm missing like an ingredient during dinner like i won't be able to just go out and get it really quick you know i have to wait for him to come out and all that and it's just it's a whole thing but we are doing our best and Every day is just another day that we get to learn more and try again. So that is exactly what I'm doing and I am not quitting, I'm not giving up. We're just gonna keep going with this journey and hope that it takes me somewhere that I'm happy. I am super happy with where I'm at right now. I don't think I've ever been this confident in my life and I am so proud of like who I am today, honestly. It kind of gets me a little bit emotional when I think of younger me. I just feel like I make, I'm making my, my younger self proud and that's really all that matters. So. so overall, I definitely think Joe is worth a shot if you haven't tried walking workout. It's super fun to do when I'm not feeling motivated and the quickest way to get my cardio in the time flies, I swear. It's just so fun, especially if you like put your own music that you like to jam to and walk to that. It is so much fun. It gives you such a good sweat and I definitely recommend her videos. My thing that always like kept me going was just the thought that time's always gonna pass. So why don't I just do this for a few months and see where I'm at? Like I'm these two months are gonna pass anyways, like might as well, you know? So just give it a shot, girl, and see where it takes you. You never know where where you may end up. And there's already so many women that have hopped onto this Joe train and have seen amazing results. And I suggest you guys joining her, her Facebook community. It is so helpful. Everyone is so encouraging. If you ever need any questions on her videos and stuff, it's, it's just such an awesome vibe to be on there. And with that being said, you guys, this is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please let me know what you guys thought down below. Again, if you haven't followed me on my social media, it is allo.sweat. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.